In this video right here, we're going over the top five Bob Ross products that I absolutely love and can't live without. That's probably a stretch, but let's just say these five Bob Ross products are awesome. Here we go. Now you're obviously familiar with the Bob Ross paintbrushes, but you know what doesn't get a lot of love are these two paintbrushes right here. The Bob Ross oval brush and the Bob Ross foliage brush. Thank God I nailed that word. It took me eight takes. Let's start with the Bob Ross foliage brush. First of all, it's one of my favorite brushes for brand new painters because it's extremely forgiving due to this wide oval bloom that it has. If you struggle with clouds, distant hills or trees, building any style of bush, or more importantly, adding highlights on bushes, this is a brush you must have because it makes it so easy. The Bob Ross oval brush is more of a niche brush, but I've learned to grow in love and admire it as I become a more experienced painter because it helps me with certain elements of my painting that are mid to background distant tree lines, hill lines, and rolling hills. Due to this oval angular cut that it has, it's so easy to break up my environment away from straight lines. It allows me to add in more of a natural look to my environment. And something that I've recently discovered as I've started teaching new painters is it's a lot easier with this oval brush to pull down color and paint in certain directions for things like mountains and hills because again, of this angular cut, they have more control. So consider getting the oval brush. Let's move that love onto some colors. Three Bob Ross colors that I absolutely love are the Bob Ross Phalo Green, Mountain Mixture, and Bright Red. When it comes to the Phalo Green, it's just such a beautiful color that's underutilized. Why the Bob Ross one? Well, in my personal opinion, the viscosity is perfect for wet and wet, and I find it to be richer in color compared to some other Phalo Green manufacturers that I've seen out there. When it comes to the Mountain Mixture, this one's easy. It just makes mountains more simple. It takes all the guesswork out for the base color and foundation you want to put on. When the color comes right out of the tube, it's a beautiful dark and rich blue black. When you apply it on top of liquid white, it becomes one of the beautifulest bluish slate grays you've ever seen. When it comes to bright red, honestly, this is just one of the best reds I've ever seen. It's bold and it's bright. Bob Ross always says it's his firecracker color and then right into some bright red. Let's have a firecracker up here. But when you add it on top of liquid white, I honestly think it's one of the prettiest pink colors I've ever seen. One thing about the Bob Ross Mountain Mixture, if you can't get the Bob Ross Mountain Mixture pink color in your area, because sometimes it can be a little tough to get, you can make your own Mountain Mixture pink color, which you can check out in the top right corner to see how. Wild cutting in here real quick to tell you about my downloadable PDF starter packet that you can download today that goes over all the starting supplies that you need to paint exactly like Bob Ross and do the wet and wet style. It goes over what's a good value and what to avoid so that way you don't waste your money. Download it today in the video description down below, but now back to the video. All right, stick with me on this one. You might be wondering why there's a Bob Ross Christmas book on here. Simple, it's the only Bob Ross book I own that has high resolution photos. When I talk to painters that have been painting as long as me that do wet on wet style paintings, one common tip they all seem to share with me is buy a Bob Ross book that has high resolution and clean photos in it. And you know what? It is a game changer. Not only is it enjoyable to look at all the paintings, but they're super educational. They show you actually how loose Bob was with his paintings, so that way you don't have to be as analytical with your paintings. You can be free, loose, and it gives you education on how much paint was applied and what spots to have different perspectives within the painting. When it comes to getting your own Bob Ross books that has high resolution of photos in them, I recommend don't buy new, go buy used on eBay. You can score some books for as low as three, to five dollars. Let's move my love onto something simple but effective. The Bob Ross cleaning screen. It's hard to find something better than this. Most manufacturers make one that's smaller and shorter and don't have this wide surface area, which is a real big shame if you like to paint with big paint brushes. This thing is perfect for getting all the paint off your brush to make sure that it's clean. And the best part about it is it fits easily within any bucket out there. Now you can make your own cleaning screen system, but honestly, this thing doesn't cost that much money and it's just way easier to buy it. I'm pretty sure you knew this one was coming because it's been sitting here the entire time. The Bob Ross mixing palette is one of my 
favorite, if not perhaps my favorite Bob Ross product. The reason I love it so much is just because of how big and sturdy this palette is. This extra handrail guard up here gives you additional space to mix paints or test them out. And I haven't found a palette that really compares with this one just yet, at least when you're talking about traveling with a palette or standing up and mixing. Ones that sit on tabletops, oh yeah, there's ones that can compare to this and that are even better, but I just love this thing so much. Now, if you're wondering why mine looks different with gray on the front and white on the back, that's because I customized this palette to make it better. If you wanna know how to do that, of course, yeah, I did a video on it. Bonus product time. You may have noticed that I have the Bob Ross Liquid Clear here. I've done a ton of videos on this product right here about alternatives and substitutes that you can use. But you know what? I think the Bob Ross Liquid Clear is a superior product. I like the consistency, I like the viscosity, and I like the results that it gives. But you know what? something that's very unique about it? I also like the smell. I've been told it's got a Venetian oil in it, which gives it a nice, pleasant smell compared to other products which uh, is nice for me because I actually have a sensitive nose. And if you do, you may wanna consider this Bob Ross product. But if you have a, an extreme sensitive nose or you don't wanna paint with anything with solvents, then I would always recommend you go with Gamblin Solvent Free Gel. While I'm thinking about it, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Go down below and let me know what is your favorite Bob Ross product. And if you wanna go that extra mile, share this video with one of your friends. Now, I know a lot of people don't like to buy and support Bob Ross company, which is why I'm going to put a video over to my side that shows you the best substitutes and alternatives for everything Bob Ross. If you want to paint in the wet and wet style and paint exactly like Bob, I'll catch you in that video. And as always, peace.